All right, this is part two. So princess seems uh, calm, we're chilled, everything's okay. All right, so the magician and the mirror. How you see yourself is what is reflected back to you within the world. So as with, um, I think it was the very first card that I pulled, the importance of seeing the beauty within you and accepting you for for all that you are and having compassion for yourself so whatever however you are seeing yourself it is it's what's going to reflect within the world and that whatever you are experiencing is a reflection of where you are at so when a lot of experiences come up that are frustrating or scary or um they just they make you feel uncomfortable if you're having a lot of those experiences it's you know you have some energy you need to clear up so you can do that in different ways you're like well how do i clear it up i just have stuff going on right i'm upset about things so to clear it up just like within the beginning of the first video the importance of gratitude because just by finding whatever you can each day that you're in gratitude for helps to shift your vibration. It brings a more uplifting vibration. So when you wake up in the morning, you can just say three things you're grateful for, or maybe you're gonna do it at the end of the day, or maybe you'll do it both the beginning and the end, or maybe you'll have a gratitude journal and every time you're grateful for something, because you're gonna aim maybe up to three things every day, right? And you can put it in your journal if you like if you like writing or do a little audio recording. But find ways to keep raising that vibration up and then you're gonna see more awesomeness. Then, like that's the magician that you are. So do you wanna be a magician of uh, bringing in a shit show in your life? Or do you wanna be a magician in bringing in beautiful abundance in all areas of your life. And you know what, we're not gonna be perfect at it. There are gonna be, you know, some days where it's a little bit rough and we had a little harder time shifting our energy, but you did shift it, right? And then it can get easier and easier with the changing of your perspective, with the changing of your thoughts, with the changing of your emotions, with the changing of your vibration. And the power of what you're now attracting into your life. So those are the messages. Um, if you are interested, oh, you know what? I just wanna say the other thing. In, in addition to gratitude, enough, or just on its own, maybe you listen to a guided meditation. Maybe you do a yoga class or a breath work class. Um, maybe you journal, maybe you talk to a friend, maybe you dance, maybe you go for a walk in nature, right? Just go for a workout, go for a kick-ass workout to shift your energy. It always does. So I hope you have um, a wonderful next like, seven days and, and beyond that and find ways to increase your joy, okay? And if you're interested in joining one of my yoga classes, you can check out my website, thejoyfulyogini.ca. I have classes you can join over Zoom or in person. And I also have some one-on-one -on -one spots. So if you're interested in that, whether it's one-on-one -on -one yoga, there goes Princess again, or a one-on-one -on -one energy healing session or reading, um, let me know. From my light to your beautiful, amazing, shiny light, namaste. Bye.